All right, you guys seem to really enjoy our first and second video of this, so we thought we'd make a third part. Uh, we're talking about murder bees. It's all over the internet because we're just so damn bored. We're locked away inside. I'm filming in my basement still. The government of Ontario is about to announce the first stage of three stages that's going to be opening up. I cannot wait. I hope we can go back to the studio and film, but it's still scary. Although we're opening up, the virus is still out there, so we still have to proceed carefully, and we still have to social distance ourselves with everyone. So I don't know what life is going to be like, even if we're back in the studio, even if self-isolation is over. The world is just different as we know it. There are now murder hornets outside we have to watch out for. I mean, these things have made it into North America, and they're slowly, like, breaching into Canada illegally. So in our last video, we talked about a hornet killing a mouse. Absolutely insane. So for this one, we have so many more facts to get through, because there's a lot more online. Uh, some are real, some are, some are not. Some are made up. A lot of people are definitely overreacting for this one. Well, how's it going, you guys? I'm your host for this, Landon Dalitzing, and welcome back to another Most Amazing Top 10 video. I'm so excited that you guys clicked on this video, and I'm so glad that you guys are here. So if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification. That way, as soon as we make a video, you guys will be notified right away. And let us know in the comment section below what video should we make next. And do you guys want to see four videos a day instead of three? Let me know how many videos a day you want to see us upload on this channel in the comment section below. I mean, we're in isolation. We have nothing else better to do these days. So, you know what? Let's try to entertain you guys. Let's get through this together. So, starting off this list like we always do in at number 10. Panic over the hornets will lead to the deaths of honeybees, which we actually need. Honeybees are very important to our ecosystem. Not only do these hornets kill the honeybees that we literally need for crops and stuff but people's reactions are actually killing the honeybees as well so we're more dangerous to honeybees than murder hornets are to honeybees people are placing traps that are intended to capture and kill the murder hornets but what people don't realize is that these honeybees are also being attracted to these traps so a little bit of advice if you want to save the bees don't accidentally trap and kill them moving right along in at number nine some beekeepers are taking steps to protect their bees from these murderers. They're doing this by making barriers between the hive and the outside, with openings large enough for regular bees, but too small for the hornets, because these hornets are absolutely massive. Okay, maybe not massive. I mean, if you, unless you guys think two inches is massive, but when you compare it to a regular honeybee size, it seems pretty massive, doesn't it? Honestly, this sounds like a really simple and not dangerous way to protect your hives. If the hornets realize that they can't penetrate the hive, then they'll just probably just move along to the next one, and hopefully the next one is also protected. All right, next up on this list, number eight, entomologists think our concern is overdramatic. I mean, this is the internet. Everyone's always overdramatic. I'm overdramatic all the time, and that we should actually not be worrying about these murder hornets. In fact, instead, we should divert our attention to mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are the ones that are a problem. I mean, like, yeah, I get that mosquitoes are carriers of all sorts of diseases. They're just annoying. I mean, this is the reason why my wife doesn't want to come out and have fire pits with me because these damn mosquitoes, it's stopping me from having fun. But you know what? We've developed vaccines for a bunch of these diseases that mosquitoes carry, and we know ways to safely kill them and protect ourselves against them. And their sting doesn't really hurt, like, you know, getting stabbed with a hot blade. And yeah, I'm talking about the murder hornets. Their stings hurt, from what I'm reading on the internet. <laughs> and at number seven, a Canadian couple took it upon themselves to hunt and destroy an entire nest on their own. I mean, these people literally sound like Dog the Bounty Hunter, insect edition. Once this couple heard that the killer hornets were found nearby where they lived in Nanaimo, BC, yes, I'm talking about the Canadian desert, and yes, I've been to Nanaimo, BC. My uncle lives there. He lives on a boat. He's lived on a boat for like 30 years. It's kind of cool. Well, they decided it would be a fun little outing to go out and hunt the nest. So now we have hunters for these murder hornets. And you know what? This couple was actually successful, but make sure you guys aren't taking this chance. Don't be the bounty hunter. If you guys seen that show, The Bounty Hunter, it gets pretty intense. The bounty hunter himself, he gets hurt all the time. So this couple was successful in destroying a nest, but don't think that you guys are going to be just as successful as them. Please don't do it. That brings us to number six, though. The pain can apparently last around 16 whole hours. I know for me, when I get a paper cut and it lasts more than 20 seconds, I'm just crying and I'm tempting, you know, do I call 911? What do I do? It's the, the blood. It, it's not stopping. Uh, it, it, it's only been like eight seconds. 
Well, after getting stung, this guy, John, well, he reported that the pain, it felt like getting whacked by a plank of wood and that the pain lasted for a whole 16 hours. I mean, the pain of getting stung by a bee is bad enough and that only lasts for like a few seconds. You know what? I'm kind of lucky on this one. I've never been stung by a bee. And you know what? When I was younger, I used to piss them off, but I was lucky to never be stung by one. I'm pretty sure me and my sister, we went after a beehive. I, I'm pretty sure she got stung like multiple times and me... Well, I guess the bees were too busy with her. All right, next up, number five, the worst is yet to come apparently while people are starting to see the hornets again, which makes sense because they tend to start to emerge around this time of year. Well, they don't usually get too aggressive until around August or September, and that seems to be coming up. And it seems also like uh, August, like these bands, like these isolation bands are gonna be lifted at the end of summer. And I guess just in time for murder hornets. I mean, this is pretty bad timing. What is 2020? Can we just take a year off our lives and pretend like we never lived this year? Let's just move on to 2021 and just forget about it. Well, this is when they begin their hunt for honeybee nests and larvae. And so I guess they're just on attack mode all the time. So if you're looking forward to the end of summer, don't. <laughs> Number four, unlike bees, they can sting multiple times without dying. This one is pretty self-explanatory. When bees sting, their stingers get ripped out of their bodies along with their organs. At least that's what I've heard. I mean, it's pretty gross and pretty lethal. Murder hornets, on the other hand, well, they can sting as many times as they want, and it isn't going to make a difference to them. I know I'd prefer if their stingers would just fall off every time they stung, because maybe they would think twice about stinging you. They won't do it as often as they're doing it. But then again, I don't want a two centimeter poisonous spike just stuck in my sting. I mean, keep it in your butt. Number three, they're apparently attracted to hairspray and perfume so i guess female are their victims i don't know why this is but i guess they don't really have a scent or it reminds them of flowers i mean women do smell great and flowers are where you can find bees often so murder hornets now know this and they go after flowers and hoping to find other bees as well so they've kind of provoked themselves into liking the smell i'm not entirely sure i mean i'm no bee expert i'm just this brown guy making youtube videos and it never Number two, a man in Spain has died from a murder hornet sting. And a lot of you guys are on the internet. A lot of you guys in the comment section right now are probably like, oh my God, you're totally reacting brown guy on YouTube who likes to make YouTube videos. These murder hornets can't kill humans, but here we are. We're talking about a man in Spain who has died from this. Well, he was tending to a wasp nest close to his beehive while he got stung by the hornet. I mean, if there was a bingo game of flying, stinging, buzzing insects, I think we would have won. Honestly, okay, all jokes aside, this is sad and scary. And it just goes to show not only how dangerous they are, but also that there doesn't seem to be many limitations to where they're spreading to. Finally, number one, the adult hornets are sometimes used in liquor. Uh, is this real life right now? How does this even make sense? Yeah, I know I talked about multiple ways that they're eaten in the last few murder hornet videos, but I guess people just wanted to find more ways to consume these things. Personally, I absolutely don't get it, but a lot of them seem to love it. The hornets dropped into Sachu while still alive and while drowning, which is savage, well, they release a venom into the alcohol. I wonder if James Corden is going to have one of these things on the next episode of Spill Your Guts or should I say fill your guts well there you guys have it that was the top 10 scary murder hornets video part three let me know if you guys are enjoying this video oh man should I do a part four of this let me know in the comment section below there's just so much facts that we can do but there's so much demand which is why we made this video I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next most amazing top 10 video